A capacitor of capacitance C and potential V volt has the energy E. Energy is given by half CV square. It is connected to another capacitor of capacitance 2 C. We take another capacitor having capacitance 2 C and potential 2 E and we connect them like this. Okay. So this is the capacitor of capacitance C. This is 2 C. Here voltage is V. So here charge is CV and minus CV. Here voltage is 2V, so charge is 4CV minus 4CV, okay. So we all know when we connect like this, net charge will remain always constant, that is 5CV. So we, we will calculate common potential, initial charge equal to final charge. Initial charge on the system is 5CV. Final charge, you will say the net final voltage is V dash. So charge on this upper capacitor is CV dash and lower one is 2CV dash. So 5 CV equal to 3 CV dash, V dash is given by 5 by 3 into V. Now what is the initial energy of the system? Total initial energy if we will calculate, then total initial energy of the system is given by, for this capacitor it is half CV square plus for this capacitor half C V square means 4 V square. So U initial is given by half CV square. 1 plus half c v square common 4 to the 8, 8 1 9, so 9 by 2 c v square. u final is written as you can say half net capacity half c v square is the formula. So half net capacitance c and 2 c in parallel, so it is 3 c. Common voltage is 5 by 3 into v square. So final energy is given by 3 by 2 c. 5 5 so 25 by 9 v square further we will solve it is 3 3 is 9 so it is 25 by 6 cv square so this is initial energy and this is final energy we have to calculate the loss of energy so loss of energy is given by 9 by 2 cv square minus 25 by 6 cv square so we will this is 6 so we will take this is 3 this is 3. Now 9 3 is a 27 minus 25 that is 2 by 6 CV square because 27 minus 25 is 2. So it is 1 by 3 CV square. But we have to calculate the answer in terms of the energy E and E is given by half CV square. So we multiply and divide it by the 2. Now it is half CV square is given by E. So it is 2 by 3 into E. We compare this equation with this answer. I hope it is visible to all of you. X equal to 2. So right answer of this problem is 2.